Hello, Pisces. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, just whatever the cards want to say. In the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that you keep having these tower moments, you know, again and again, you know, going through these same cycles where you just repeat this energy. And it's, I think it's because your guides are trying to really push you to let things unfold naturally in your life, especially regarding love. They just, they want this, this new connection that's come in or, or coming in. They really want you to do this right. They really want to make sure that you just let the feelings develop naturally. Just go at a steady pace. Don't don't rush things. Don't overanalyze. Don't overthink. Don't sabotage things. You know, some of you might have that, that tendency to kind of sabotage or doubt things. And your guides really just want to make sure that when they bring this person in, um, that you know, you, you, it, it unfolds naturally because you could sabotage this otherwise. Like if you rush things or, um, you know, it could overwhelm this person. So they're, they're just really wanting to make sure that, that you, that you go at a steady pace and that you really do this right. This could be someone coming back around as well. That's maybe matured and they're ready for a more serious relationship now, but your guides, again, they're just wanting to, whatever this, this love is, whether it's an old person or a new person, your guides are just wanting to really make sure that when they do come in, that you're going to be balanced and, um, you know, at the stable point where, where you can have this, you know, this, these feelings develop naturally. Cause I feel like that's, that's really important for this connection. Otherwise it's just, they're, they're probably going to run from this. So, so yeah, that's why there's a bit of a delay right now is just, you know, cause you're working on, you know, self-worth, self-confidence. You're working on getting out of your head and, and not overanalyzing or sabotaging things, you know? Um, you know, being loyal to yourself, putting yourself first. Got list. Grove. Grove is about um, like a sacred space, healing. I kind of feel like maybe you had negative um, coping mechanisms in the past, like negative like outlets and stuff that you were trying to use to forget your problems. And now you're really going inward and being introspective and healing in a more natural way. Like you're really, like I feel like in the past you kind of just like faked confidence, like you pretended to be confident, but you didn't really genuinely feel that like energy of confidence. But I feel like now you're actually starting to feel like a genuine sense of confidence if that makes sense and you're you're doing the genuine healing work so that you can actually be confident so that you can have this new start that you're asking for so so you're definitely getting there and you're more willing to accept um you know the black the black and white the good and bad aspects of yourself it's like you're embracing who you really are you're you're doing the shadow work you're you're not um, ignoring certain, you're not ignoring or suppressing certain aspects of yourself or pretending to be perfect. Like you're really just embracing every part of yourself now, you know, and that's, that's the, that's the key to summon this true confidence to really be, be who you want to be is, is, you know, just loving yourself just as you are. And, you know, changing the things that you want to change, of course, but, but it's like you're, You're just, you're letting all these different emotions come to the surface. You know, I think in the past you try to be positive and you try to maybe suppress the, the darker aspects of yourself. Like you try to just think positive and just kind of bury it and just kind of fake confidence. But now it's like you're genuinely healing. You know what I mean? Like you're bringing all these things to the surface to be embraced, to be healed, to be looked at. You're, um, you know, you're integrating both sides of your personality, having a balance between dark and light and, you know, changing the things that you genu genuinely want to change, of course, but you're also just, you know, accepting certain things about your yourself that maybe you love these things about yourself that maybe society, you know, thinks it's weird or thinks it's too out there, but it's like now you're just, you're embracing who you want to be. You're becoming the person you want to be and you're developing this genuine confidence. So, so that's just where you're at, I feel. Um, and I mean, I think this, I'm going to pull some cards to see where you're at with love as well, but I feel like this is just sort of saying, you know, if there's delays regarding love, I feel like it's most likely due to this because it's like you have to do this, this first and get to this genuinely confident point 
and maybe break some patterns in your life so that you're attracting the right kind of people. And um, I feel like there's also, like I get, for this group, I get like a sense of control issues. And so maybe it's like, like your person might be ready for you or they might be like in your energy field, I feel. Like I feel like it's either, I feel like it's either someone new or it's someone from your past, but you guys haven't talked in a while, or like maybe you've talked a little bit here and there, but they, um, they're not the same person they used to be. They really went down a different path and had to learn and experience things on their own. And they've done a lot of healing and they're, they're more mature and stable and they're wanting a, a long-term connection with someone. And so there's potential for that to happen for you guys. But, but again, they want to make sure that you're going to have a healthy relationship with this person. They want to make sure that you don't fall back into your old patterns, that you don't, you know, give in to certain energies. They want to make sure that you're, you guys are going to communicate well, that you're going to be able to take this slowly, that you're going to be able to really get to know them, that you're going to be willing to stand up for yourself and put yourself first and, you know, say no and, you know, leave if they ever mistreat you. They want to make sure that you really have that genuine, stable um, groundwork, that, that confidence, you know, before they before this relationship comes in. Because they just, I think that this is probably like a potential life partner. So they're really just wanting to make sure that, um, you know, you, you don't, um, that, that you do this right. They just, they want to make sure that you do this right, that you... That you can have this kind of stable connection with this person. Vision, yeah. They might be having visions of you as well, and you might be having visions of them. The longing, like they're having this sense, I think, of you, like kind of this sense of. Um... See, this card is about invisibility, but I almost feel like. In this context, I almost feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Like this person could be channeling you, like they could be psychically aware of you. They could already know who you are and maybe know that you're their person, but maybe they haven't said anything about it. Because I kind of see this as like scrying. You see like this this energy right here. It's like she's he or she is like looking into this portal like out in the woods. And we have vision here, Aphrodite. So I feel like this person is like like they just have this sense about you. There's like this heart chakra connection between you two. You see the light coming out of this person's chest. I feel like I feel like there's like scrying or some kind of psychic energy that's really involved in this connection. I almost wonder if your person's like psychic and, and their spirit guides are saying, hey, this person is for you, but you gotta wait a little bit for them to get everything in order and then you guys can be together. So it almost feels like the energy of like someone who's like conscious, like aware of this, you know? Conclusion. Yeah, you guys are both wrapping things up so that you can do this. So I think you guys have been stagnant in the past, but I feel like that's coming to an end. And now they're in this energy of like, you know, you're both one or both of you is in this energy of just kind of like wishing and um, wanting to manifest this connection. So I feel like there was like miscommunication in the past or there was like silence and now that like that rigidness, that stubbornness that's kind of coming to an end. I feel like this person is more aware and more open to this connection now. Maybe they had to go down their own path because I do get the energy for those of you. Some of you, this is a new person. Some of you, it's going to be like a love at first sight type of connection. Like they're just, because I feel like a very deep spiritual psychic connection here. So, and I feel like your person for most of you, I feel like your person has psychic abilities, so it's like they might just see you and just kind of know. Like they might just like, it might be one of those situations where like they just, you guys just talk and they just kind of have that feeling about you. Um, I feel like for those of you, it's someone from your past. I feel like this person went down another path, but I feel like they might be coming back around now. I feel like they... Um, I feel like they, they had to go through a lot of things, like a lot of chaos to, to grow, to mature, to get to a stable point in their life. And so I think in the past, maybe you told them about the psychic connection and they kind of turned it down and they didn't really believe in it. But now that they're at a more mature point in their life and they've experienced more of the world, they understand that that energy is real. So they're more open-minded to it. And now they're accepting that this, that you might really be their person. Like you told them you were. Um, let's see. Let's see what other energy we can get here. 
So what else can you tell me about this connection? Chaser, chasey, power, struggle, willpower, strength, confidence. Yeah, like they're... Someone, either you or them, it's like you have to put the pride aside and get out of this power struggle energy. Because it's like with the control issues, like I said, your guys want to make sure when they bring this in that you guys don't, that one or both of you don't sabotage this. They, Because this person's not going to be controlled. They're not going to deal with that. You know what I mean? Like if you're like the type that like, you know, text a lot, like, where are you? When are we going to hang out? What's like, what's going on? This person is like very independent. So they're not, they're not going to handle that. They're just, they, you know what I mean? And it's, it's sad because it's like, they're, they're not going to get to see the real you. And it's, I'm not blaming you for that. Cause it's normal. When you've been hurt a lot, you get scared. Like when you, when you've been hurt, like heartbroken too many times, it's like, you get really scared in the beginning of relationships. And it's like, you do just want to cling to them. You do just want to like text them all the time and be like, Hey, when are you coming over? Like, let's like, you want to like hold on to them because it's like, you're afraid of getting hurt. You're afraid of losing them. But your guides are saying that this kind of, that kind of energy is going to push them away because this person is very independent. I feel like maybe you had more codependent relationships with people in the past, and this is going to be a lot different than any kind of relationship you're used to. Whether this is somebody new coming in or whether it's someone from your past who's just matured and they're a different person now, it's new energy. You know what I mean? It's either a new person or it's someone who's basically a new person. Like they, they've changed so much that it's like you're not, it's like, they're a completely different person than they were when you last knew them. And they're very independent and they're very mature and very stable now. So they're, they're just not going to, um, tolerate that. And it's just, your guys really want to make sure that this, this happens naturally and that you guys both do this right. Because it's like, it is a life partner, but it's like, it could go either way. You know what I mean? Cause you have more than one potential life partner. So it's like, you guys really have to do that right. Otherwise it's like, especially in the beginning, there are things that could sabotage it. And I think that you've had tendencies to sabotage, maybe not intentionally, but just out of fear. Maybe you, you've sabotaged connections in the past without even like realizing it. Um, and so it's just saying, and it's like sad because there's, you have a lot to offer. You have a lot of love to offer. You have a lot of good energy to offer. Like you're, you're very like deep down, you're very playful, very fun, very free spirited, very intelligent, open-minded. Like you have all these good qualities. Um, but it, it's like, if you do it the wrong way, then this person is never going to get to see that part of you. They're never going to see the real you. You know what I mean? Like if they came in and you were just kind of like, scared and kind of controlling and like like where are you when are we hanging out like like questioning them or, or doubting the connection and they can feel that energy too even when you don't text them it's like if you're like panicking and like worrying and trying to like just grasp onto them like they can still kind of feel that energy and they want something more balanced they want something more more of like like two independent people coming together you know what I mean like they want um they're just, they're just a little bit more independent than like the average person is, I guess, if that makes sense. So, and it's like, if they see that side of you, that's like scared and like, you know, like worried, then it's like, they might not get to know the real you because they're just gonna, um, maybe this is someone, maybe, maybe, maybe your person is someone who's been controlled in the past by people too, and they need to work through that. So like, maybe they were in a relationship where they were really controlled and, and like manipulated by someone. Like maybe they were like with a person who never let them go out with their friends or they just blew up their phone all the time or wouldn't let them be friends with people of, of the opposite sex or they went through their social media and made them delete any delete all their friends and, you know, just that kind of energy. So maybe like being controlled is a trigger to them. So it's like if they sense that energy, they're not even going to try to get to know you because they're just going to run. So your guides are making sure that you're like a hundred percent, like out of that energy, that you're like confident, like you're good with or without them. You're happy. You love yourself. You put yourself first, like you're independent because that's, what's going to draw this person in, you know? So they're making sure that you're in that energy so that this connection will actually work out. Cause if they were to bring them in right now, before you've done this healing work that you're currently doing, um, then I feel like those fears would come up. Like, I feel like, feel like you're like, I'm ready for love. I'm ready for love. And it's like, you are, but there's still that part of you. Like, 
Like, this is going to scare you more than you realize. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like you're ready for it. You're open to it. But, like, when it actually comes in, like, that kind of deep psychic connection, like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to freak you out a little bit more than you're expecting it to. So, so yeah, they're making sure that you're just, a, you know, everything's just a little bit more stable and more grounded before this comes in so that you guys really do this right. Dreams, visions, telepathy. You guys are already connecting in the 5D. You guys are already, um, whoever this is, it's like you're already, they're having dreams about you. I feel like this person knows that you're the one. It's really interesting. I'm trying to figure this out, this energy. So it could just be someone from your past that's like matured and now they're kind of looking at the connection in a different light. But it's like maybe they took you for granted in the past or something or maybe you were a little bit like controlling in the past and so they wanted to make sure like, they're going to be like on, like they want to come back, but they're going to be on the lookout for red flags when they come back. You know what I mean? Like they want to hit you up and they want to go on a date or something, but it's like, if they see any hints that you're going to control them or that like, there's still that insecurity there that was there in the past, they're, um, they're going to run. Cause it's like, they've matured a lot and they want to, they, they're, they want to give this another chance, but they want to make sure that you've matured as well. They want to make sure that this is going to be like an equal give and take that you guys are going to be balancing each other out before they come in. Or this could be a new person, but I feel like this person is going to know very early on that you're like right for them. Like, I feel like they're just going to have like dreams or they're going to have like this, like intuitive nudge. Like they're going to, um, like, they're just going to know, like, it's like a love at first sight kind of deal. Like, they're just going to, like, they're just going to know. Like, I don't even, yeah, like, watching you. I feel like someone's, like, watching you and kind of maybe getting to know you through your posts, through, like, social media or through, like, if you have, like, a YouTube channel or something. Like, someone's kind of, like, getting to know you by, like, spying a little bit. I feel like the energy of, like, scrying or channeling. Like, do you guys have partners that are psychics or that do, like, psychic spiritual work? Because I feel like someone's, like, someone's, like, doing, like, tarot or ruin readings on you or they're, like, using, like, a scrying mirror on you or, like, they're doing something to, like, look into your energy. Because I feel like this person would have to be, like, a psychic and an empath to have this kind of ability. You know, some of them might not know it, but I just feel like, like some of them like, like might just like meet you somewhere and they just like, it's like love at first sight. And they're just like, wow, that's like the person for me. Like you guys talk for hours and they're just like, that's like my person, but they might, they might not all be aware of why they feel that, but it's like, it's their intuition, but they don't understand that concept yet, you know? So it's like, they feel they, they, like, they just know, but they don't understand that that's what intuition is, if that makes sense. But they are, I feel like all your people are, are very, like, they are very intuitive. They are very psychic. Some of them just, some of them actually practice and are, you know, consciously looking into you. And others are just, have those intuitive nudges, but they don't understand what it is. Truth and clarity. Yeah, the truth's about to come out about something here. Pride and stubbornness. Hmm. I got pride and stubbornness over there. Yeah, again, just getting out of that energy of overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage. It's like someone's caused their own isolation and loneliness and emptiness as a result of sabotaging. This could be you or this could be your person, too, that their own pride has led them down this path. Hmm. I'm looking at these cards now. I'm like, hmm. But I feel like this person, this is someone from your past, I feel like they matured a lot, though. And now they're wanting to come back in. But they're just like, they're not wanting it to be how it was before. If this is someone you dated in the past, it's like they want you back, but they don't want it to be how it used to be. They don't, yeah, they don't want to deal with the control. They don't want to be controlled again by anyone. And again, that might not be you. It, maybe, maybe it was you that controlled them. Maybe, maybe they felt controlled by you. For some, maybe it's like they felt controlled by someone else. And so they're bringing that baggage into this connection where they're like going to be really quick to be like, oh, hell no, stop texting me all the time or stop asking where I am all the time. You know what I mean? Like maybe they have some trauma due to being controlled by someone. And so they're just not going to tolerate being controlled by some by you, by you because of what they've been through, you know, but there is there is a strong psychic connection here. There is that like see, that's like love at first sight energy. 
Yeah, I got X in the past. Make your move. Green light. Yeah, someone's wanting to make a move on you. I think the uncertainty is just due to the fact that they're like, have you, like, are, you know, like, have you matured? Are you ready for this? Is this going to work? Um, or if this is someone new, they might also be doubting themselves a little bit because they're like, why do I feel this kind of love for someone I just met? <laughs> But yeah, they're wanting this like loyalty and stability. Like they're wanting this commitment with you. I do feel like they are wanting it. And they feel, feel like your guides are pushing you to make sure that you don't, that you get out of that energy of, of like sabotage and sadness and that you do this right. So they, but again, if, if it's like not coming in, I feel like it's because they're, um, you might have soul contracts that have been sabotaging you too. Fears of commitment, having to wait, having to constantly be in this cycle, self-sabotage. So you need to end those soul contracts. Yeah, I get in this more of a vulnerable kind of romantic energy. Um, you used to owe someone an apology or someone owes you an apology? You got adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Yeah, taking it slow. So it's going to be a balance. Like it's going to be really romantic and fun and adventurous, whether this is someone new coming back around. I mean, someone old coming back around, but they're like in a new energy and they've changed or it's someone new. It's like, it's going to be maybe someone you meet through traveling. Um, there's going to be like the adventure, that like honeymoon phase, like that excitement. But again, you have to like kind of take it slow and just pull them in and be in this kind of confident energy. Cause in the past, I feel like you've chased people and you've like kind of controlled, but it's like, you don't realize by like doing those things, it's like, cause you're holding on so tightly to it, but I don't think you've realized that like by doing that kind of thing, it's actually sabotaged it. It's almost like you were like subconsciously sabotaging your relationships with people and you didn't even really completely realize that you were um, doing it. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, it just kind of, it's like you were holding on so tightly that this these people would like just run in the end. So it's kind of like you're going to just be in your power and confidence now, like fine with or without them and just kind of balanced and taking it slow. And then you're going to have this happen naturally. Again, that's the key word naturally. The adventure, the honeymoon, vacation, traveling, like like it's, it's going to have to happen on just naturally. It's going to have to happen just like it's going to have to just flow. If you control it or you sabotage or ask for it, it's like it's probably going to mess things up. But if you let things flow naturally, if you really just get into this energy of um, just being relaxed, being free spirited, being just open, um, just just taking it day by day, living in the moment more, then I feel like you will have this energy with this person. So I hope that um, hope that makes sense. If you guys want private readings, my email address is below in the description box. Um, I do private readings and then um, subscribe, please, if this resonates and any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. Thank you for watching.